Well, I haven't played the quarterback position at the University of Texas. You got an incoming uh, a freshman to be here soon in another year, and Arch Manning, who made the commitment to the University of Texas. How much pressure is on this young man to live up to the last name on top of the rich history at the quarterback position at UT? Well, I mean, I mean, Arthur, man, he, he's an, a family that is going to teach him the best way they can and the way, the way they know how that works. And I really feel like that's not going to be an issue for him at all. What I do know is, you know, in this quarterback room, having these big-time quarterbacks uh, from Leak uh, Murphy, from Hudson Carr to, uh, to Quinn, it's going to be a heated competition in that in that quarterback room, which we all like. And it doesn't, doesn't do nothing to make him better. It makes all of them better. It makes them mentally tough. So that's what we're going to need. When you're playing at the University of Texas, you're pretty much an NFL quarterback already. So you're going to need to have that pressure and that competition in the quarterback room. So I'm just happy that he made a decision to come to the University of Texas. He's already helping out with recruiting and things like that. So it's going to be good for him as well as all the rest of the quarterbacks. And I love it because I'm going to be sitting in that room with them. And I'm going to be messing with them and making sure they're competing against each other to be the best, <laughs> not only just for they sell, but for the university in general. You know, having gone through a recruiting process myself with my son and in, in understanding rivals and all these other sites that are out there grading these young men, there was, a, there was an article where a writer from Rivals said that Arch Manning was a three-star at best. If he wasn't for the last name of Manning, he wouldn't be in the position that he's in. I've never seen him play in high school or anything like that. It just reminds me of the pressure that, you know, guys, kids have with the last name, whether it's uh, a Young or Manning or Johnson or Patrick Sertain, the third, the second, whatever it may be, you have the pressure coming in and trying to live up to those great expectations, the expectation of his uncles being a Hall of Famer, a future Hall of Famer, and his granddad in Archie Manning, do you see that it, at, at all with players when they come in with, with bearing the last name of somebody that was in their family that had played at an elite level? Uh, I mean, sometimes you do, but I really feel like, you know, Archie has a great opportunity. And that one of the things that I am hearing that he is going to redshirt, you know, and that's going to help out a lot. So you can understand how to travel with the team, get to feel of the, uh, the fans or the university. So when you have those type of things and you take a take a year off, like when I play with Coach Brown, I redshirted and I feel like that redshirt year helped me, um, you know, understand how to be a quarterback at the University of Texas. And then what you go through traveling and things like that. So if he does that, I really feel like it's going to be a good good for him to sit back and um, kind of learn and, you know, and also get familiar and, and, and with the offense and stuff like that. So hopefully, uh, if he does that, I hope he's, he's going to go help him for the, you know, the, for the future. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.